Hi YouTube, it is the 1st December 2017 and here in Germany it's a quarter to 1 a.m. which means in 15 minutes Doom Virtual Reality is going to launch worldwide. I couldn't be more excited, I got the game already loaded, already pre-loaded in Steam and it's just waiting to become 1 a.m. so I can play it. Now the big question is can I play it on my Windows Mixed Reality headset? Well, I'm going to find out together with you guys. I still got a few minutes to tell you that my name is Sebastian Ang and that this channel is called Mixed Reality TV and I'm bringing you all the best about Windows Mixed Reality and the VR and AR industry in general. So if you're interested in that, subscribe now and click the bell button so you don't miss anything. But now here we are in the cliff house and I'm going to start Doom Virtual <laughs> Reality. And here we go, the moment of truth. Now it has been reported that the game does not work on the Oculus Rift, that it, it will crash after the intro. Let's see if we are more lucky here with Windows Mixed Reality. And that is Bethesda, the second big VR game of Bethesda. And of course here ID Software. So far everything works like a charm and I can just hope that this works on Windows Mixed Reality. So this will be another big reason for lots of people to pick up one of those cheap Windows Mixed Reality headsets in order to play Doom and in order to play all the other Steam VR games because so far I had no problems whatsoever playing any of the Steam VR games and that is really cool. Okay, here we are, Doom VFR and we're going to start now and hopefully everything is going to work. So far still everything works. I wonder at what point it crashes for the Oculus Rift users. Probably after this menu here, after the game really starts. Okay, here the game starts. Everything Progress looks perfectly us. fine. Make your commitment today. Yeah, I got hands, which is always good. And we are going up here now. Probably we're going up into the tutorial. Well, we will see. Very soon, I can grab. Demonic presence detected. And we have some demonic presence here. All right, okay. It starts here now. Uh oh, I think something's going to come through that door here. And it seems like this elevator is going down rapidly now. Okay. Demonic presence at minimally safe levels. I do think that this game is working completely fine. Yeah. And what to do? No, it's over. <laughs> okay, probably this was still the intro though. Intro completed. Where am I? Okay, let's watch this intro. I'm dead, but not. Something must have activated the cognitive transfer protocol. This hasn't been done since Hayden. Time to get some answers. Power's down. We'll start there. There has to be a combat chassis somewhere. That would work. Good timing. Let's see what this thing can do. Okay, this is the tutorial level now. And I'm learning how to move. And it's about teleportation. So as you can tell here, it's the HTC Vive wants that they are showing. Because, well, this game is for HTC Vive. And it's not optimized for Windows MR at all. But so far, everything works perfectly fine. I can teleport by clicking on the left touchpad and now I'm learning more. Okay, so I can also dash. Oh, that is good. So I can also dash, which will help me, help us, <laughs> us players to dash back when the demons are coming at us. This is good. So it's not only teleportation, you can also dash forwards and backwards and sideways, straving basically. This is great. Okay, shooting is with the right trigger. And let's see what I'm going to learn here now. 
Okay. So if the enemies are somehow blinking, or not, not blinking, how do you call that? Like this, then I can teleport into them and give them the final blow. Looks like a very fun mechanic, and actually it is fun to do that. Okay, so I can also throw grenades, and if I click on the left trigger, a grenade is going to appear in my hand, like that. And then I'm, I can simply throw it by throwing, of course, and by letting loose of the left trigger. Works perfectly. Okay, have to throw this up. And the next door opens and here another time for me to throw up the grenade so I can advance in this tutorial. Yeah, so it does work. It works perfectly on Windows MR. Great news for all you guys, for everybody who would like to play Doom Virtual F Reality on the Windows MR headsets. And that is pretty interesting that it does work on Windows Mixed Reality, but it does not work on Oculus Rift. And I'm just not able to throw this grenade up there anyways. So this is pretty, pretty interesting. I suppose it is because of the, the war between Zenimax and Oculus. So that's why they made it incompatible. Wow, very unfortunate for all the Oculus Rift owners. Good news for Windows MR owners, because, well, they can play it. All right, now, since we're here, I'm not going to end this video. Let's keep on playing a bit. Let's go into the game a bit. And then uh, I'm going to stop this video and you can all download this game for yourself. So, here's another weapon I have. So if I click on the left grip button, then this kind of wave will come out and all the enemies around me will get forced back. So this is pretty, pretty cool if there's lots of enemies around you. All right, now this is an upgrade. This should be a weapon upgrade that I can choose. Okay, I just grabbed it and now I can choose what kind of upgrade I want. Yeah, I just chose one of them. Anyways, this is just to teach me how to use that. And here, you have to step on that one here. Okay, this is another weapon upgrade. Okay, I can choose the weapon now. Which I want to upgrade. And that's it, yeah, that's that's basically it. I chose the shot, the shotgun though, so let me change it. I can click on the right touchpad to have this weapon selection here. And let me choose that now. And if I click on the right grip button, then I will activate that weapon upgrade. Okay, so that's it for the tutorial. And now let's get into the real game. And here we are. You can use the left menu button to, to open a map and you can use the right menu in order to open the settings. Now, let me do that just now. And here we are in the settings. Okay, so here are the video setting, advanced settings. And yeah, then you can go back by clicking on the left trigger. Okay, now let's move a bit around. Here, this is the map, by the way. And uh, now our first mission is to um, turn the power back on. So for some reason the power was turned off and we gotta turn it back on. Now, I'm using now the dash locomotion, but of course you can also always use the locomotion. All right, cool. So far there are no demons here, it's just um, have to find the, the power control. Okay, I need the yellow card. Okay, this is simply doom. <laughs> find this card, open that thing, and then lots of demons will arrive. <laughs> and I really like it that you can do this dash motion. 
So if it was just teleportation, well, we would have lots of problems with all these demons, right? Because, you know, you have to backtrack normally and while tracking back, you have to shoot the demons which are coming at you. And this would be really tough if you only would have this teleportation. But no good thing we have this dash and here is the power. Let me turn on the power. Here we go. So yeah, we have this dash motion. So we can, yeah, we can strafe and we can go back and we can even move forward with it. So that should be pretty useful. Now, if you're wondering what kind of machine I'm using here. So if you probably have not yet watched my channel, then first of all, you should totally subscribe to this channel to get awesome content like this. And well, so let me tell you now, I'm using a laptop. I'm using a gaming laptop. It's an MSI Raider with a GDX 1070. So these are already the minimum requirements to play this. And well, it does play very smooth, I have to say. Okay, now, but now let's enjoy this. Here are the first demons. And here is the action that you can expect in Doom VFR. Enjoy this for a moment without my commands. Alright, that's it for this first wave of enemies and also for this short video just to let you know, yes, Doom VFR works fine for Windows Mixed Reality and that's it. Alright, that is some incredible news. You can play Doom Virtual Reality on Windows MR headsets. It is now 3 a.m. here in Germany and I just came out of my first Doom Virtual Reality session and well, I played a bit longer than I showed you now in this video, which I'm going to edit now. Um, and my first impression is it is very, very cool. Nice. Looking very much forward to play much longer. Now, the only problem that I had had that it seemed that sometimes the resolution would go down and then it didn't look so good anymore. Well, very blurry. You saw it probably in the video. However, I suppose that is because I was also recording it and well, I'm running this on a laptop, on a, on a gaming laptop though, with a GDX, GDX 1070, which should be fine, but these are only the minimum requirements. I'm going to check out to play that game when I'm not recording, probably it's going to be different, but uh, well, you saw it yourself. Anyways, I could play the game very nice and wow, yeah. I'm looking forward to play it much longer. Anyways, my mission was to check this out for you. Does it work on Windows Mixed Reality headsets? And yes, it does work. You can go and buy it now off Steam or wherever you want to buy it and play the game Doom Virtual Reality on Windows Mixed Reality headsets. Mission accomplished to let you guys know. All right, I hope this was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not subscribed to Mixed Reality TV yet, do so now. I'm going to go to bed now. See you in the next episode.